In this video, we do a little door jam maintenance and the Black Pearl is gonna be our stand-in. Stay tuned. Welcome back and or to the channel. Today we're gonna to be doing a little bit of door jam maintenance and this is important. A lot of people don't do this and then they wonder why they have door pin bushings that fail or their door starts to sag and it doesn't close properly. It's all because you didn't take the time to put the proper lubricants in the door jam to keep them working properly. So today I'm gonna to show you where we're gonna put these products what we're going to use and basically get you ready so that you don't have to worry about this problem down the road. Now, a lot of older vehicles had design flaws. So no matter how much you did this, unfortunately, you still had the problem, especially after the vehicle reached 10 years old or older, you started running into door pin bushings that would break or fail, and you would run into issues where the door would not shut properly because the door had actually dropped below where it was supposed to latch. So basically, when you close the door, you're pulling the door up onto the catch. That means that the pins that are holding it in place, the bushings that it rides on, have completely failed. When that happens, you have to put new door pins and bushings in, no matter how much lubricant you add, no, no matter how much you try to do, there's no way to fix broken door pins and bushings but to put new ones in. But this will help keep you from having that issue. What we're using is basically a slide guide lubricant that you can find at any parts store. And the reason I use this is this does not attract dust. This is designed to be used on brakes. So brakes are a very dusty environment. And if you put anything that would attract dust into your brakes, it's going to actually lock your brakes up. It's gonna cause more damage. So that's why I use this on my door pins and bushings because it works so much better. And what I'm gonna use as the initial lubricant, obviously WD. And what I'm gonna do is spray it all out first Go back in and add this. This will add the protection long term. So what I'm gonna do is I'll set you up now. And I'll show you what I'm doing on each door. Now I won't do left to right because that obviously won't matter as much, but you are gonna to wanna to do this on all your doors, including your hatchback and on possibly your hood. And I'll show you where you need to do it on your hood. Let me get set up for that. Okay, I got you at the right height. You won't be able to see me, but you'll see what's going on, which is more important. So, what you're going to do first is use your WD, and you want to lightly just spray in there. Make sure you get enough lubricant in. And you'll have a top hinge and a bottom hinge, and I'll pull you in here shortly so you can see that. Now you'll also have the stop where the door catches when you open it. That you don't put the WD on, and I'll explain why in just a little bit. But you're spraying here to get lubricant in this latch. You're spraying this hinge right here, and another one down here. Now these are your two latches, and then this is your catch. This is what the door will actually catch on. So now that I've actually sprayed that stuff, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my, uh, my grease here. And I just put a dab of it on a finger. And then I'm rubbing the catch right here get lubricant onto this catch and for the hinge all you have to do is take that same grease that you had just kind of rub it into the hinge now there is another product that I can use here 
that if I feel like I can't get the grease in there, like I'm having troubles with that, this stuff will work great on that little catch that we just talked about. Well, let me grab something else. Maybe you're running a little low on this stuff, so I'll have to pick up more. But WD also makes their... white lithium grease. Now you don't want to get carried away and spray a bunch of white lithium grease in there, but just a little bit. On the hinge and where it slides. And if you put too much in, you're gonna see this stuff because it will, it will leave white streaks everywhere. So you want to be careful on how much you actually spray in there. That would be your front doors. And before you open your back doors, there's another trick you can do. Because sometimes you actually have better access at that door with it closed, at least for the hinges. So what I do is take a spray a dab of the actual normal WD in there. And what this does is kind of washes out any of the issues that you might have. You can go back in and kind of wipe it up. And then just a little dab of the white. And this stuff is designed to actually stick in there. That's what the white lithium grease does. Is when you spray it in there, it's designed. That's why you keep a rag on you just in case it splatters. You can wipe it off real easy. So yeah, if that's the white grease is meant to stick in there and stay in there. That way you have that protection. And the more car washes you do and the more stuff that you do with your vehicle, the more it gets wet, the more you have to do this process because that water and washing will dry all these components out. And it's important to get lubrication on these components so that you don't have a premature bushing that fails. Here's this slide again. And this slide is really, really dry. I mean, I normally try to do these twice a year. Sometimes that's not enough. Sometimes I need to do it every couple months. And obviously be careful, or otherwise you will cut your finger open like I just did. There is metal fragments in there, so don't get carried away with uh, running your finger in there real hard and heavy. Just try to spread the grease on with your finger. Don't, don't feel like you have to grind it in like I just did. And what I normally do is with the door open, I'll also go back. Even if I did it with it closed, I'll go back and add a little bit with the door open just so that I can get a full range of motion on it. Okay. And then we're going to come out here to the latch. Again, spray a little bit in there. And what that's helping to do is the actual normal WD is helping to carry the liquid and the reason you don't want to get carried away with the lithium grease is because it does stick it will build up over time so a little bit goes a long ways and then once you've done this you're going to open and close the door a few times just to make sure that it's in you get the grease in everywhere that it needs to go Like I said, you might have a spot where you accidentally get some. Make sure you clean it up, don't leave it on a painted surface. 
that you don't want it to touch. You can even go back in and re-wipe up your hinges after you're done. Just trying to get the buildup out of it because you don't need to have it sprayed everywhere. It's only helping in the actual hinge itself, not anywhere else. Like I said, open and close it a few times. And that would be your side doors. Now we still have the hood and the trunk. I'm not going to show you the driver's side because the driver's side and passenger's side is the same thing. Exactly the same. Whatever you did on this side, you're going to do on the other side. For your trunk, it's a little bit different. And I may have to be careful here because I don't know if I have the vehicle far enough ahead, which I do not. So, kind of work on my head here a little bit. But again, taking my two sprays. And every trunk is different. Every setup is different. Some of them will have a latch up here. Some of them, the latch will be in here. You'll just have to look for where your latch is on your vehicle, and that's what you're going to be putting this on. And what you're doing is just, like I said, putting a little in there. You don't have to get carried away and have it run everywhere. But you do need to get some in there. And if you want to open and close it a few times after putting the, that in there, you certainly can. It'll help kind of get it into the latch before you put the white lithium. And like I said, the white lithium, again, don't get carried away. A little bit goes a long ways. Okay. Now, there are hood shocks on your rear hatch and probably your hood. If you have those, you're gonna to have to do something a little different with those. And let me open the hood and I'll show you. Okay, so now that we're getting the hood open, our latch is right here. This is our latch. And our hood struts are right here. Now there's a separate process to prepping these hood struts. Let me show you. First of all, make sure that you get some clean paper towels. You don't want to do this with dirty paper towels. What you're doing is just cleaning the prep rod the rod that actually goes inside the shock. Just clean it up as best as you can. Like I said, you don't have to get super carried away here. And if you don't do this every, you know, every so often, you're gonna wind up having to put new hood struts in. So this is another maintenance thing that you can do that will save you some money down the road because these hood, hood struts can be kind of expensive. Some of them can be a hundred bucks for one. So, Taking the time to clean them off and then putting a little protection on them ain't such a bad idea. And for this, I'm only going to use the normal WD. I'm not going to use white lithium on this because it's too thick. And I don't want to use that grease on it because I don't want to build up. The grease is a little thicker. So what I'm going to do is spray a little into the rag do this off of the vehicle since I just got done doing a cleaning video on this one. So what I do, I spray a dab of it into the rag. Okay, and then I'm just going to take that spot that I sprayed and rub the actual rod for the shock. That's it. What that does is gives it a final cleaning and adds a little bit of lubrication to it at the same time. So now when you close your hood, 
you're going to get that stuff in there. And I usually open and close it a few times. Sometimes when you clean those hood, hood struts like that, you notice that they're more stiff. So now that you've opened and closed it a few times, if you think that it dried out from going in and out, you can redo the process. Just re-wipe it with where it's wet on the towel. If you need to add more, just go ahead and add more to the towel. And then what we gotta do is our latch. And like I said, you're gonna wanna do that anywhere you have these hood struts, anywhere, whether it be on your trunk lid, on your hood, wherever you have those. And not every vehicle does. A lot of newer vehicles are starting to have these hood struts and that's an important maintenance process that you're gonna to wanna to do. You can do that with your oil change. When you go to do your oil change, you can clean those hood struts. Like I said, it only takes a few minutes. I just did it for you here on film. It literally takes that long. And that maintenance will help those last a lot longer. Now, if you have the casing is starting to crack and you're starting to get a lot of rust, you may have to replace that strut. That's just the way it is. They, when they build these, they build them like they do shocks. They're designed to only be in a vehicle for so long and then they, they're supposed to be replaced. But if you can get a little bit longer life out of them by keeping them clean and oiled, why not? That's extra money that you have in your pocket that you can use for other things. Whether it be putting a bot on the vehicle or whether it be putting groceries on the table. You never know. So let's do this latch quick. Again, doing the same process. Doing traditional WD and the white lithium. And if you clean your engine bay, you don't really want to get a whole lot in here. So try to be careful where you're spraying. I know it can't be helped. And let me show you close up here what I have going. Okay, on the latch, you'll have this little tab that catches. This tab gets pushed down by the hood. You'll wanna spray in here, and then there's also a cable. You also have a cable. This cable needs to be lubricated down inside this housing right here. It's down inside there. So once you've sprayed the regular WD in there, then you can put a little bit of the white lithium. Like I said, you don't need to get carried away, but you definitely want to get it down in there. And this stuff does get kind of runny. And if you've sprayed or had over spray anywhere, now is the time to just go in, clean it up. If you have a hood latch that's kind of tight and binding, this is one way to fix that hood latch. So all that we have to do now is close our hood. We can open it a few times just to make sure. But now that we've done that, I've shown you how to be able to free up any of the sticking latches that you may have. I showed you how to put preventative lubricants in areas that are needed to protect your door jams, protect your hood latches, and your hood shocks. But I think that's about going to do it for today's video. I'd like to say thanks for watching. Please hit that like button, smash that subscribe button, and I'll see you on the next one.